Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is here's a plotting tutorial using Matplotlib in Python. Now in this tutorial, I'll be telling you guys how you can make a, a subplot like in, in this format. In the earlier version, I told you guys, told you all how to make a subplot and with just using the you know the commands. Now in this uh, example, I'll be telling you how you can use the axis handles and our axis handles to make the plot make the plot because if you look at in the documentation or in the internet documentation or search for this in the internet many people would have used access handles to tweak the plots to a lot of to a to a, to a wide variety so this would be very useful so here in the today's example we're going to make this plot over here this plot I mean this figure over here and th in this figure has a major figure on the left axis I mean the, on the left and three minor figures on the right okay so let's get started with uh, okay, let me close this. And first, what we need, uh, I will just import a numpy matplotlib uh, libraries as it is. So let's create some data. I already have the code written over here, so I'm just going to copy paste it. But I'll just walk you through. Uh, let the n be a variable having 101. Let the n be a uh, integer with 100 with value 101. We are going to create an angle, angles uh, linearly sp spaced between 0 and 4 pi with 101 points. We calculate sine uh, sine of sine of x and cosine of x, and let's create some random numbers, 101 random numbers, and st store this in R. Okay. First, what we like to do is actually create what you call as a figure figure handle. So, fig equals plt dot fig figure, and that will create a figure handle. Create a figure handle. All right. Once you do, once you do, once you do that, we can actually go and create some subplots. So to create a subplot is actually simple. What you need to do is get a handle for it, and that is actually given by this option. So if you create a figure handle, just type fig dot add subplot and then give the code uh, code number for it one to one over here, and this will create the plot for you. So this is actually plot one, and then if you want to, uh, and, and then in the uh, we can actually use this handle and create the plots for ourselves. So here, what I've done here is we are, let, we are going to have a scatter plot with X and R, and the color is, and uh, we're going to give a salmon color. And the line style, instead of line style, let me put this as marker, and the marker will be zero. Okay, I mean O, and this will be the random scatter. And uh, over here. We have the we have some configuration to go and set up the x label, y label. Using the stick params uh, method, we are actually setting the axis color to our choice. We are set, I'm setting this to a gray color from the XKCD colors. You can pick any color you want. All right. And uh, if I run this, this won't show the plot. And that's because we need we need the show option at the bottom to show the plot. I mean, show the figure. Okay. Plt dot show. That will do. And uh, let me correct this. All right. So if I run this one over here, we get a random plot over here. And with this random plot has the X labels in X and labels in red color, the axis sticks in gray color. And by using the uh, spines, we can actually uh, ax we can use using the spines. We can also color the, uh, you know, the, ac and the axis itself, the X axis and Y axis itself. But we're not going to do that. I think that's this is more than enough. Okay, you can if you want, you can actually do that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add the next figure and this is this is going to follow the same notation so i'm just going to copy the copy the score over here which i have and paste it over here so this is plot 2 and paste it over here instead of i can keep it as ax1 as it is but for you know clarification make sure that uh, we don't get into any confusion okay and if you want to change the settings in the future okay it's better to create a separate access handle separate access handle for each for each plot now this plot this will actually have uh, the sign plot sign plot in aqua marine color which is actually a very light blue color okay the bluish green color on the top right axis i mean top right corner of the figure and there we go now we have the sign plot ready we have two plot we have two plots over here we need to put two more plots over here which we can actually do so, uh, and we're just going to copy this bunch of code over here. This is this is actually working. So let me paste it over here. So let me add a comment over here. This is plot three, and this is 
plot for all right and let's give a space over here and uh, let th this is actually ac axis 3 the reason why I do this is because as I mentioned earlier uh, let assigning a separate handle for each plot is good because if you want to make any customizations in the future you can just directly do it instead of being it's otherwise if you use the same axis handle for all of them uh, it is work it will work but it will be confusing if you want to change it in the future nevertheless this this one is ready hope you guys and hope you all know how this um, indices I mean index numbers come in if you want if you don't know how this is uh, this has come just refer to my previous video where I would have explained this explicitly and I've run this now our plot is now we have the figure ready but we need to do a little bit of housekeeping so that it's neat we got the plot now we mean the figure is complete okay almost complete uh, we just need a little bit of uh, tweaking to make this a bit fancy and neat first what we'll do is uh, we'll make the figure uh, we'll make the figure has sp evenly spaced out so for that uh, to space out the figures to space out the figure we just put plt dot tight layout okay you can actually go and customize uh, customize and add a little bit of padding that is some spacing between them but you, you usual the tight underscore layer the default features in tight underscore layout are more than enough uh, to give us a sufficient amount of spacing now this spacing is good in such a manner that uh, there is a, sub a substantial amount of spacing and no interference and all perfect and now if you look at it the second problem we note another problem we notice over here is this legends these legends are actually not pretty neat in the sense they are actually interfering with the actual plot data we, that wouldn't be nice uh, now one let's on the way to figure this out let's see if i zoom this up if I zoom this, the figure, the, um, the legends actually uh, go to a, go to some corners and making this plot visible. So what we notice, what you can notice is that if we just, uh, how do I say it? If we just increase the size of this figure, we can actually make this plot better, and um, we can em actually embellish this plot better. So to create the, to increase the figure size, to change the figure size, go over here and that uh, there's a attribute, I mean variable, not a variable argument called as fix size and it's a two variable tuple and here you specify tuple or a tuple and it's a specify two vari two values uh, something like uh, 10 comma 10 comma 8 and if i run this run this now this plot is better in the sense it's uh, elongated pretty uh, it's uh, elongated pretty well this plot is elongated elongated pretty well and uh, and as we just saw as we just thought the Legends all occupied uh, all occupied a place near reasonably well reasonably well. Okay, now uh, we need to increase the size a little more because this looks little too tall and lanky. The aspect ratio, if we just tweak the aspect ratio a little bit, <coughs> this might come out a little better. So let's do that now. Before I do about it, I think it'll be better if I tell you what this actually stands for. The default figure size. Okay. Uh, is actually in the Python is actually eight eight cross six, wherein if you draw a figure, it will be the length of the figure will be eight inches, the width of the figure is six inches. Okay, so this is the by defa by the de uh, default the uh, size of the figure. Here instead of eight cross six, we are going to make it ten uh, ten cross eight over here. Okay, so ten inches long and eight inches wide, and this will actually affect the aspect ratio, and that's why this is a bit lanky. Usually the uh, eight, uh, I mean eight cross six will give you a four to three aspect ratio, which is kind of neat. But sometimes we might well have, like to have this a little better. So let's tweak this a little more. Uh, so, um, what I understood, what I did after a little bit of trials, a little bit of trial and error is uh, fifteen comma ten looks out to be better. And see, the reason is because fifteen inches wide, fifteen inches long, and ten inches ten inches in height are with okay whichever way you call it now if you look at this this plot is per this plot is perfect in the sense it's arranged pretty well there is sufficient amount of space the legends are actually coming out nicely this this is on the verge of completion okay that we fix this legends and now the other uh, aspect we'd we like to do is add a add an overall title for this e we have a title for each and every sub each and every plot we let's have an overall title for the figure 
okay one would uh, argue one would actually think that uh, just that might be simple just add uh, plt dot figure over here P not plt dot figure plt dot title over here uh, title plt dot title sample signs okay just a random title but if you do this if you know do this i don't know whether you can notice this or not there are two uh, the axis actually is interfering this axis actually is actually interfering okay so uh, this is not a good idea it's not a good idea and uh, there so instead there is another option called as subplots so just use the, um, what you do is go go to the bottom go to the bottom and add this particular line uh, Oh yeah, not subplots. Super title. Create a super title. Or so, okay. So, fig object has a super title. Subtitle. That's that's how it's called. Sam uh, sample sinusoidal del curves. All right. Now, if you do this one, sure enough. Sure enough, you have a title. You have a title over here that corresponds to all of these figures, and this is actually a little low. You have to push this a little up. So how do you do that? Is let's let's open up this option over here, option over here, and then if you just adjust this top bottom values, it might will might get this better. If you notice, when I push, when I increase, uh, decrease the top value a little bit, a little, if you give a little bit of padding on the top. Okay, by right, adjusting this, this comes out to be better. Okay, so after the tight layout, we have to do this to make sure that there is a little bit of spacing, and this actually looks like more like a title title now. So, okay, uh, one more thing. Look at the values for 0.94. Okay, 0.94. Let's keep that in mind. So, create a super title. Create to space of the figure uh, to make the Super title appear appear prominently prominently. So, uh, the option is plt dot. Where did I write that? Plt dot uh, subplot adjust. There's an option called as subplot subplots adjust. And inside this, there's a, a parameter called as top and set this to 0 0.94 the value we just saw the value we suggest now and now if i run this now this one is perfect this one is perfect now you can actually go and save this plot if you want go and save this plot directly or you can actually save this um or you can actually or you can actually save this on the fly to save this on the fly it's much more easy okay so let me just copy these two lines over here and before you show the plots, you save these figures. Okay. Uh, to save the figures. Okay. So this line over here, this line will over here. Okay. Uh, I mean, the, let's look at this one. This is the option to save the figure. You just type plt dot save fig. You type uh, type a figure name. Mm, the fig. I mean the figure name. And then you give set a format. I'm setting this to the PNG format. Portable network graphics format and setting the DPI or the digits per inch to be four four hundred. Four hundred should give you a, a very um, reasonably good, reasonably good plot, reasonably good figure. Okay, you can do do that now. If you do this, okay, um, if you do this, you'll get a you'll get a fancy figure over here, and uh, it'll take a second because it has to save. And this is the uh, figure option we showed, and let me open this up. And this is the figure we got. This is the figure we got uh, after we saved it. Saving. Okay. And clearly, if you notice over here, this turns out to be pretty well. Only thing we do notice is that there is a little bit of white spacing around the edges. A little bit. A little bit of white spacing. Okay. Little bit of white spacing. So let's comment out this and un uh, uncomment this line. This line has another argument called, I mean, key parameter called uh, argument called as b box underscore inches if you keep this to be tight it packs all that uh, all the items properly okay even if you don't give us tight layout option over here this will pack all of them properly and then uh, and then if there are any extra spaces we'll remove them huh? so just 
properly packs them up and this will take actually a second because it's going to plot and save it and there we go we got the figure ready let's close this and if we see the actual printed figure I mean embellished figure okay now if even compared to the previous figure which this is the previous figure we made this is the figure we made clearly you can see this uh, when compared to this figure this figure is actually the figure which we made just now is slightly bigger and there aren't much white spaces around okay this is this is how you do uh, subplots and we can al we also saw how you can actually tweak the tools a bit and then saw, see how to make it uh, you know print it save it properly now that's all i have for you all in this video thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time in another interesting video till then take care